Well, in today's topic, we're going to understand about the zones on Palo Alto firewall. As you can see, I have already mentioned some of the zones in here. For example, inside zone, the outside zone, the web zone, and SQL zone. So the point here is the configuration of this zone is not that difficult part, but understanding this zone is really important because what happened basically we configured these interfaces in particular zone but let's say by mistakenly we configure one of the interface in wrong zone then what might happen the traffic is not going to work for that particular interface so this is really important to understand first what zone is and how these zones basically work so in this topic what we're going to do basically first we're going to understand what zone is and what are the different types of zones available on Palo Alto firewall and then only we're going to configure this zone on this firewall okay so let's get started now let's try to understand zone from this very simple diagram so zone is nothing but the boundary is defined in order to protect the asset so in this diagram the buildings are basically act as an asset and this gate and the boundary around it it act as a zone so let's have the zone defined to the other buildings as well like this and this third building as well so let's give some name in here for example these three buildings belong to zone a and this one belong to zone b and this one belong to zone c now let's say people are staying in this particular zone they would like to communicate with each other right but the communication is not gonna happen just like that because some restrictions are applied here for example the person is belong to zone a he can communicate with any other building belong to the same zone for example there are the three buildings so building one building two building three so this person can go into any of these three building without any restriction because this building belong to the same zone and this kind of zone are known as intra zone let's give it some name in here intra zone all right but if the same person would like to communicate from zone a to zone b building he is not gonna enter just like that so this person has to provide his information before entering into the zone b building so he will have to provide his name his contact information who is going to visit to and what is the purpose of this visit like any information he can provide at the gate then only he will allow to enter into the zone b building and same applies when he would like to communicate from zone a building to zone c building and same applies also when the zone b building would like to communicate with zone c building as well so this kind of communication with restriction is known as inter zone communication so let's give some name in here which is inter zone communication right well, same kind of communication applies on Palo Alto firewall as well. So on firewall, we are also going to have two kind of default zone. And these two default zones are basically intra zone and inter zone. So the interfaces belong to the same zone. They are known as intra zone and interfaces belong to the different zone. They are known as inter zone. Now let's go to firewall and see these zones. As you can see at the bottom we have two default zone available in here which is rule number six it says it's intra zone and the action for this zone is default allow so what will happen if the interfaces belong to the same zone the traffic is going to be default allow but as per the rule number seven if the traffic is belong to the inter zone which means two different zone then the default rule or the action is going to be denied so these are the default rule of the zones the traffic whether belong to the intra zone or inter zone now let's try to understand the other rule applied to the zones so the first rule applies which is the one interface can be part of one zone only for example the interface in here which is belong to inside interface that can only be the part of one zone which is the inside zone only this interface cannot be the part of multiple zone for example it cannot be the part of the TMZ web zone at the same time so one interface which is for example interface 1 slash 1 can only be the part of the one zone only that's the first rule now what is the second rule the second rule is like one zone can have the multiple interfaces for example this inside zone 
does have the multiple interfaces for example one slash one and one slash two can be defined in the same zone and this zone basically known as an intra zone because the interfaces are belong to the same zone right as we saw in the diagram so these interfaces can communicate with each other without any restriction but the traffic is going from this inside zone to web zone they are not going to communicate just like that so they will have to go via the policies what we're going to define on the firewall so these are the rules we need to consider before we configure in the zone now let's go to firewall and configure the zones well the configuration of this zone is really simple and we can define the zone in multiple ways for example we can go into the network in interfaces and we can select any of the interfaces belong to that particular zone for example let's select ethernet 1 slash 5 and configure this into the sql zone so first we need to define whether the ethernet type is going to be layer 2 layer 3 or whatever the zone is going to be so let's select layer 3 for example and then we need to select the virtual router let's select internet router and then we need to define which zone it belong to now in here you need to select zone and define what zone that interface is going to belong to but if you want the your interface is going to be the intra zone and if zone is already available for example inside zone you can select the inside zone and that is going to be belong to the same zone but if you want to configure different zone you can also configure from here let's give it some name let's for example for example tmz sql zone right so this interface is going to belong to the dmz sql zone let's press ok and the zone is created well this is the one way you can configure zone by going into the interface section but if you like to configure zone directly then you can also go into the zone section and in here you can also configure the zone let's configure one of the zone for example it zone so let's give it a name it zone and then you can also select the interface but before that you need to select the interface type so let's say it is going to be the part of layer 3 interface and then you need to add interface in there now in here i do not see the list of interface because my interfaces are already been the part of the other zone so let's do one thing let's delete some of the interfaces from the existing zone right so first press ok in here so that the zone can be created i do not see any interfaces now let's go to outside interface because it has multiple interfaces let's delete this one slash six and press ok now let's go to zone again and at this point we should be getting the interface 1 slash 6 right so i have selected one of the interface and i can press ok now there is one section which is very important which is this zone protection for example if they are the attacker would like to scan your firewall then this zone protection is going to be very helpful but in this topic we are not going to discuss about the zone protection because it is going to be the separate part at this point let's do the ok so that the simple zone is just created so that is how you can create the zone on the palo alto firewall so this is for now and i will see you in the next section see ya